Hello Anatomy students, this is Rob Swatsky and we're continuing our review of the appendicular skeleton beginning with the pelvic girdle. Now the pelvic girdle is made up of several bones, most prominent being the pair of coxal bones. Coxal means of the hips. We have a right coxal bone and a left coxal bone. Now the coxal bones are lateral relative to the medial sacrum, which is our collection of fused vertebrae just uh, inferior to the lower lumbar vertebrae and just superior to the tailbone or the coccyx, which is a smaller set of fused vertebrae. So together the sacrum and the coccyx form the medial posterior aspect of the pelvic girdle. We have a joint located between the sacrum and the coxal bone called the sacroiliac joint. And sacro refers to the sacrum. Iliac is a reference to the ilium, which is the upper bone of the coxal bone, which we'll look a little more closely at in our next photograph. I'll highlight the sacroiliac joint in yellow. We have partial movement or articulation here at this joint. Our second joint is found in the anterior region of the pelvic girdle and it's shown by this piece of rubber on the model. This is the pubic symphysis. This is the region where the two pubic bones are joining together. And I will label the pubic bones with a capital P, the most uh, prominent pointed projection of the coxal bones. Think P for point, pubic point, out in front. The Symphysis is a partially movable joint similar to the sacroiliac joint and made up of fibrocartilage which we looked at as being the tissue of the intervertebral discs we learned about in the axial skeleton. So the pubic bones are the anterior bony region of the coxal bone. We have a third bony region which is the seat bone and this is called the ischium. And it's easy to remember, just see the round shape, the round curve to the ischium. Think ischy, tushy. You're sitting on your tushy, ischium, the seat bone. Nice round, like a rocking chair uh, shape to that bone. So that's the posterior aspect of the coxal bone, our third bony region of the coxal bone. We also have a fossa that's prominent on the anterior face of the coxal bone. We call this the iliac fossa. This uh, shallow groove is home to the iliacus muscle, which we'll learn about in the muscular system labs. We also have a large foramen, in fact, the largest foramen of the skeletal system called the obturator foramen. Obturate means to cover up. And we have a membrane that covers up a lot of the blood vessels and nerves that are running through this large opening here in the inferior pelvic girdle. And we'll examine the ball and socket joint of the hip joint, which is formed by the head of the femur as it articulates with the coxal bone and we'll look more at the femur in a separate screencast and we'll continue on with a closer look at the coxal bones next.